So, hi, I'm Chris Brown, and this is Peter. Um, it's a very snappy title. Um, we actually call it our online portal, or online learning portal, which makes it a bit easier. Um, so, I'm Head of Online Professional Learning at Cambridge Assessment International Education. Snappy title. Um, essentially, we're a non-teaching part of the university, um, and we provide educational programs, teacher supports, and teaching resources to about 10,000 schools in 160 different countries. And obviously, in the, in the, I'm not sure which countries that means we don't teach in, apart from North Korea, there's a few others. Um, but that obviously means we have a wide variety of technological capabilities and knowledge in our users and in the infrastructure in the schools in which we operate. I'm going to talk on the first two, two or three slides and explain to you what our problem was. And then after that, Peter is going to explain to you the wonderful solution that Catalyst delivers for us. So we currently have four LMSs um, to provide our teacher and sort of, um, teaching support. We have two Moodles and two Maharas. This is going to get confusing. Um, essentially, we provide, in one of the Moodles, we provide professional development courses for teachers. And in one of the Maharas, um, we also, the other product we provide is a professional development qualification, which is a high stakes qualification, which is assessed through portfolio, portfolios and community activity that happens in a Mahara. We have another Moodle in which we host teacher resources. So resources that schools can use and teachers can use in and out of the classroom. And we have another Mahara that is where um, students submit portfolios for a qualification we have called Global Perspectives that we offer at GCSE and ASNA level. On the left is a very simplified diagram of how the setup was. It's confused. It's so, it's, as it says, users got confused with the login. It's confusing to explain. Essentially, all of these types of teachers, if you could be a teacher who's only doing professional development and you want to go into one Moodle, you could be a teacher who's only doing professional development qualifications, you want to go into a Mahara, you could be a teacher who's only using classroom resources and you go into another Moodle, you could be a teacher who's doing all three, you could be a teacher who's only doing two of them. You could be a child and we don't want the children anywhere near any of the professional development and we only want them to go in another way. This is confusing for you. It's really confusing for our users and it was pretty confusing for us to administer. It was set up, as you can see, with a, quite a sophisticated MNET setup with a number of customer fields to identify profiles and combinations of profiles. Um, it was quite unmanageable in the end because we ended up finding that um, users could go in a route and not be able to work their way back. So basically the solution that we were looking for was a very simple single sign-on solution essentially, a one-stop portal where users could go once, sign in, and then see the courses and or resources that they had access to that either they paid for or that we'd given them. And it sort of looks like this, really. You, one place you go to to log in and everything is visible once you've gone through this place. So here we have the different tiles that show the different sites you can go to. We surface different courses that you're enrolled on. So you can actually get to all the content you care about quickly and easily based on who you are, because we track who you are, what you should have access to, and we surface it here. And we have a, an administration area behind the scenes. It's built in Django, which measure for measure we found was better for delivering what we needed quickly. There's no PHP framework that will give you user administration with minimal effort. And we tried to model kind of the logic that Cambridge needed. So we, we map it down to we have users, users belong in groups, groups have access to sites. And it's that simple. We don't try and do any role management. We leave that to the Moodle or the Mahara to manage. So you can see here we have just a list of users. You can get to users, you can see who is staff, who is an administrator, you can find people, you can do filtering, 
all the kinds of things you'd normally expect to have in the administrative area. And here is where you can actually add a user. You can add users manually through the administrative area. There are tools for staff adding their own users. But we can customize this almost with no effort at all. And we have some staff facing for, for teachers to manage their own users. So we don't give everyone access to the full administrative area. We can give it at different levels depending on what your organization would need. Here, this is for managing access to one of the Maharas, whether you're adding users or managing your own people. We also do things like synchronization. So if you change details in the portal, we synchronize that to all the sites you're registered in. So if you change your email address, we synchronize that everywhere immediately, just so that logins don't break. Also, if your account is deactivated or reactivated, we push that everywhere as well. We are looking at other things that we can do with this. Um, a lot of this is kind of in motion, but we're looking at new ways of authentication, new ways to bridge it to existing tools, new things you can add to it. Right now, we've built, we've built GitHub for Moodle and Mahara. But there's no reason why we can't add Drupal to that. We can add all kinds of customizations, really. We're just waiting to see what people want to do with it. I've had a conversation in the recent days where people want to add way, got wayfinding tools, people to get around their campus and show people where they can get to and how to get to places. It's not just Moodle and Mahara. You can do so much more with it. Just people aren't doing that yet. Um, the multiple Moodle problem is hard. You're not just managing people, but you're managing systems, you're managing sites. One of the big things that we kind of instituted with this is that all the code bases for all the Moodles are the same. All the code bases for all the Mahara is the same. When it's patch day, we patch one Moodle effectively, deploy it everywhere, even if it's separate physical Moodles. And we can, we can also surface content in one place from multiple Moodles with this portal. It's very effective at bringing out different sources of information that you want to show your people. And that's actually it. It's not, it, what it does is very focused, very tight, brings together what you care about in one place and lets you manage all the different users, all the different systems in a convenient place where you can just do everything in one, one go. And that's really it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's really good. I didn't get a chance to show you my five minutes and my two minutes card, though, but never mind. What it does mean is that we have more time for you to ask some questions. It's a, it's a really, really interesting setup, I have to say. So we'll have as many questions as you want, and then we might have a few minutes break so that we can start at 10 past with our final presentation. Okay. Over there. What is Django exactly? So Django is a framework for the language of Python, where you can build applications on top of it really easily and really quickly. PHP has frameworks too, but they're not so easy to use. It's just a case of we have the tools, we felt this to work better for this situation. You're blowing their minds. <laughs> I did it yeah, you might have blown their minds, but in a good way. Oh, there's one again at the front. Bob? I just wondered what you'd had in terms of user feedback from your thousands of users. Well, it reduced our customer queries and customer complaints around accessing the system by about 95%. So the only users we now get issues with are tend to be the users who, we tend to find we have quite a lot of users who don't know what a hyperlink is and have a lot of just using things online issues and they're the ones who have an issue. And one thing we didn't, that was a bit unclear from that, is actually access to the portal is um, an issue by user self-registration. Um, so that solves a lot of issues. We used to have issues around um, email address changing, and especially if teachers move between schools, and that's resolved a lot of those issues because now when they change their own email address, it gets immediately distributed across all the portals. So they have continu continuous access throughout their teaching careers where before we had a lot of issues 
with teachers would leave a school, go to a new school, and their email addresses would change. Uh, over there. Uh, is this something? No, 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 no. You have to <laughs> Okay. Uh, is this something that's freely uh, available or, well, I mean, in a formal? It's not freely available as yet. We are looking at ways we can make it available, but the, the beauty of doing something like this is not just here is a thing that you can use. We would tailor it for your needs. Okay. Because we, that's, Django makes it possible to tailor it very specifically to what you need rather than here is an off-the-shelf product. Okay, thank you. So at the back, and then after that, Bob is just here. Um, I mean, when I was first sort of hearing about what you were doing, immediately multi-tenancy comes to mind. So I was just wondering, in terms of what you were thinking of, is there any particular issues or reasons around why you didn't go down maybe a multi-tenancy route, what this does differently or better for your needs? That's a question for you. I didn't, so I didn't hear the last part of that. Um, just what this might do better for your needs rather than, say, a multi-tenancy route? Um, I think one of the... Can we go back? No. Um, one of the key um, factors that's, that's most useful is actually there's the portal, but the, the, the dashboard and the way the dashboard is manifesting itself. And as you say, at the moment, we're manifesting on it um, courses and resources from Moodle and Mahara, but actually ongoing, we'll be able to manifest, well, we could bring other sites into the fold and actually manifest um, sort of things from those as well. So it's, it's, a gate, it's a gateway that's open to us to develop further. So it's gonna have a long shelf life. Uh, was, uh, I thought I saw someone at the front before. No. Must have answered. Must have answered all the questions then. Ma Mary, could we have the Django Unchained soundtrack going for the next few minutes? Sure. Do you want to? Do you want to come and sort? That? I feel like that would be appropriate. Um, any other questions? If not, we're going to have just like a five-minute rest because.